55 year old man who had a um, bit of sensitivity and pain on uh, his anterior mandible and uh, palpation, swelling, uh, when he touched it, he was having a lot of sensitivity on that tooth. So he came to see me with a uh, uh, t canine tooth, uh, tooth number 22, that had a root canal years ago. He couldn't remember when he had the tooth uh, root canal done, but he uh, had a large restoration on the tooth and a lot of peripheral redlucency, a large peripheral redlucency and uh, pain on the tooth. So I uh, take a picture and my first instinct is uh, it's a straightforward case. I'm going to go ahead and retreat it, get good results, and patient will be on his way out without any problem. Usually on a lower canine tooth, um, they have one canal. You're not uh, supposed to have two canals and see an anomaly. And on his case, when I went ahead and uh, retreated it and did the case, I took a final picture and Boom, there it is. There's two roots on this tooth. It's a very rare case. It would have two roots. Um, I think 1% of the cases have one root uh, or two roots. And um, so I did the, um, looks like a mesial uh, angle. So I went ahead and did um, go back in with the microscope again to, uh, it's very critical to use the microscope to find all the canals. Uh, I was able to find the second root on this uh, tooth and uh, here's another angle. Um, you can see a little bit of my fill on this tooth on the other root, but you can totally see the separation on the roots. And here's the, uh, the two roots filled and uh, that was a patient that uh, could have been back uh, a year later with the same problem.